Good morning, it's day two of a week on Asda Smart Price and we're going to forego breakfast this morning because we're going to have a big lunch. We're going to have a banquet Asda Smart Price lunch and it's going to start by us making some sponge cake. 27 pence for this. Uh, the recipe requires one egg, these were 70p, and we're going to make some, uh, well, Victoria sponges minus the cream because there is no As Asda Smart Price cream. In a traditional Victoria sponge though. They don't have cream. So really we're doing That's it That's true, we're doing style. it the proper way. Yeah. Well thought. So I guess we'll crack on. There's a reflection. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you're, you're gonna, how are you gonna have uh, You do need scissors. Please. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Pop. Made a cloud, there's your egg. This seems like not very much wet ingredients. No. And then 90 ml of water. That's literally it. So God knows what this is gonna look like. It says we need to stir it now for two minutes, according to the back of the packet. If you don't spill it everywhere. It's very precise, I wonder why two minutes. Oh my god! <laughs> Oops. Comment section are we gonna Pairing as a new one. Literally just clean that. So <laughs> okay, so let's. Uh, I'll, I'll cut away to when we've been stirring this for two minutes. So we have bought some itty bitty cupcake cup thingies, which we have buttered with Asda Smart Price butter. So there's one thing we couldn't get hold of when we did the uh, Tesco Value Week. One pound forty-five for that. So the most expensive item so far. These aren't Asda Smart Price, but we're not going to eat those, so it's going to be fine. So. Grace did the honours of stirring this, and this is going to be interesting because it's very runny batter. It is very runny. How little actual I've got no idea liquids how went in there. in there. Me neither. I'm going to go for what do I reckon? Yes, I think that's sensible. And I'm also going to cut this because who wants to watch us fill up cake bun things? Lovely stuff. So they go into a preheated oven. It says for 15 to 18 minutes, but that is for a larger cake. So these are obviously smaller cakes, so we're going to check them after about 12 and see how we're getting on. So whilst they're in the oven, here's the uh, other ingredients which we're going to prepare ready for our lunch. We have sausage rolls, which are... 99 uh, Pork pies. £1.20. Coleslaw. Uh, 36p. Cooked ham. Looks interesting. 129. Chicken roll, which sounds awful. 96p. <laughs> and cheesy spread. Uh, that's not on here. That's not on there. Oh, I'll put that on screen then because I've not put that in my list. <laughs> um, we do also have bread, which is the cheapest uh, bread that Asda do that isn't smart price because they don't do smart bread, but I thought I'd put it on there anyway just because I did it for the. Though. Yeah, it's the cheapest bread Asda do essentially. Um, so. I wonder what we're making. I'm very excited. I'm excited. Yeah. Yes. So let's get it did, and then prepare it in a nice fancy way. Check this out. An Asda Smart Price afternoon tea. <laughs> I think it looks cute. Fancy as fuck. <laughs> With the weirdest coloured tea, but we'll get to that, I suppose. So sandwiches we have. Cheese spread. <laughs> Cheese spread. Not something you'd usually find in an afternoon tea, no. but... Needs mass. It, yeah. Ham and coleslaw. Yes, that's there. And chicken. And chicken. Yummy. And here we have sausage uh, rolls. Sausage rolls. Lovely pork presented. Pies. Pork pie. So, cheesy... Cheesy... Puffs. Puffs. And onion rings. And onion rings. And then we made our cakes. We d well, we made this one. And halved them and put some Smart Price jam in the middle for a it's, little Victoria it's quite sponge. flaky. Yeah. Um, but, you know... And a trifle. And a trifle, that looks so good. So we're <laughs> going to tuck in, and then we'll let you know our thoughts, because we is fancy. Well, that's a good sign. It was really tasty. It was really tasty. Mm. The highlight being the cheese spread, strangely. Yeah. The sausage roll, roll, if I can speak, was really nice. I don't like that motorbike going past the house. Um, what, what were your highlights? Definitely the cheese spread. Mm -hmm. Tasted just like Dairy Lee, in my opinion. Mm. Um, so I would definitely buy that over Dairy Lee because Dairy Lee can be really expensive. Yes. Um, and also the cheesy 
puff things were full of flavour. They were really tasty. Yeah, loads of flavour. Yeah. This is next though. <laughs> well, dessert was pretty good. It was very nice. The cakes were like wet. Yeah, I don't know if it was oil or if it was just like because it was a wet batter or I don't know. But yeah, I mean we did butter the the cases. I yeah, can't but not imagine much. it would be. No, it was just to make sure they didn't stick, which yeah. they didn't. They did come out quite easily. But the jam it's inside it was really good. Not a massive jam fan. No, but it was very um strawberry. Strawberry. Yeah. Yeah. So that was really nice. The trifle though was mm. that really was the nicest good. thing yeah, really, of the really whole nice. thing. I would have been happy with just like four of them. Mm. So it had like whole strawberries in the jelly as well, which mm. was a nice surprise. And a little bit of sponge layering. Sponge and uh, obviously the and custard and the cream. Custard and cream, which was really, really good. Yeah, I'm not usually a massive cream fan, but that was good. Mm. I liked it. Not bad for, for smart price, definitely no. not. Excellent. So yeah. we're going to crack on with stuff this afternoon. You've got some crocheting to do. I've got some editing to do. So let's crack on. Well, that was the afternoon. Bit of editing, a little bit of cardio, and now I guess it's getting on. It's actually like eight o'clock, so it's time for food. Although the um, the afternoon tea is still kind of sitting there, I'm still pretty full from it. So the original plan on the menu for for today was uh, smart price chicken portions, smart price uh, instant mash, and smart price vegetables to make like a Sunday roast. But because as that actually substituted the two main items, the chicken and the mash, we kind of thought it wouldn't be fair. I know in yesterday's introduction I was kind of thinking that I would do it anyway, but I don't think it, that's going to fit the MO, is it? So I'm going to do something different. Not all that hungry anyway, so I'm going to have something, again, pretty traditionally English. So let's do it. As the smart price baked beans, 23 pence. And can you tell why they're just 23 pence? It's because of the ring top. Yeah, how, how old fashioned and archaic. We have to actually use a bloody tin opener. So, yes, yeah, 23 pence. Red Leicester and grated what, uh, cheddar. Uh, it just looks like Red Leicester. It does, it's all very red. It must be like a red cheddar, yeah. more like American. A redder. A redder, nice and tea. 2 49 for this. Uh, this looks a lot better than the Tesco value because it's not coated in like, oh, cornstarch yeah. uh, to, to make sure it doesn't plump into one giant cricket ball of cheese. And also, uh, bread again, because we can't have cheesy beans, ch cheesy beans on toast. Without the toast. Without the toast, it'll just be cheesy beans. So let's get cracking. I really hope these are nice. Mm. You can definitely tell the difference usually between like pines and normal beans. You can. Beans. They haven't, normally it takes a bit of effort to get beans out of a tin, but they have slid out. So there we go. Uh, put the heat on. Lovely. So we'll just get all claggy. Nice. That'll be good. I think it's only fair, seeing as we've had ham today, that we give Basil some. So, shall we see if he likes it? I'm going to predict yes, because <laughs> he loves it. He yes, loves ham. he loves everything that is ham-shaped, ham-smelling, ham-flavoured. So let's try it. Don't look suspicious. I have things for you. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, not it. Yes, of course Basil likes smart price ham. You can't have too much though because it will destroy your kidneys. Well, the toast is done and buttered. The beans are bubbling away and Grace is just about to add a little bit of cheese. A little bit of grated red leicester and cheddar. Oh, oh no, has it oh, amalgamated God, into a cricket ball? Oh, escapee. Yeah. Oh, oh, you can't. You can't beat cheesy beans. There's going to be a lot of people screaming at the video right now. It's just so good. It's going like to orange. Nice. Yummy. Oh. Yummy. And then a nice sprinkle. Just to add a bit of class. <laughs> oh, that looks good. Oh. Beans. You know what? It's not bad. That's not bad. 
How was that? Yeah, it was really tasty. That was really good. Yeah, really um, nice. You wouldn't know that beans cost 23p as no. opposed to like a pound that no. the Heinz beans do. And I was really surprised as well because usually you can tell the difference between sort of Heinz and the cheaper brands. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I don't think that you would be able to tell at all, to be honest with you. They were really, no. really good. Yeah, really and good the, quality. the cheese was great actually. Mm. None of the, the horrible powderiness that usually comes on really no. cheap grated cheese. And it melted really nicely as melted well. Melted perfectly. It was yeah. really, really good. Very impressed. Yeah. So and as the smart price, beans on cheese on toast, top marks. Gonna finish up with this fromage fray, which is very small. Holding this makes me feel like a giant. Mmm, that's really good. What flavour is it? Raspberry. Loads of flavour. But... You're going to be done, done now, yeah. <laughs> oh well, it's very nice. Mm. So far, as to smart price, has really impressed me. Well, that was day two. And another really good day. Um, the afternoon tea that we made was... was really good. I'm very impressed. I mean, if you're going to put really high quality ingredients next to the smart price stuff you probably will tell the difference but as it was it was brilliant i loved it i would easily have that every day of the week so top marks from me for that then it's a real shame that we did the online shopping uh the chicken and the mashed potatoes that we wanted out of stock i guess it's a good sign i guess that means that they're good but we'll never know so instead um, wasn't all that hungry anyway, so I had cheesy beans on toast, which again, top banana. So far, the Asda Smart Price stuff is head and shoulders above Tesco value. So I'm, I'm really happy. This week's going way, way better than even the Tesco value one, which again, went pretty good. So let's see if things maintain, I guess. So if you'd like to find out, please do like the video, please subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow.